ISIS taking ground. Terrorists in the big advanced murder. Tyranny and terror. I can get Obama's emergency alerts through this. Now when he comes and takes over my cell phone. What is the Republican Party so afraid of? Because when I think of the things they should be afraid of, you know, like President Make-Believe taking them all down with him, they don't seem all that concerned. Instead, the scared little boys club is afraid of the shark attack-like odds a terrorist will pose as a refugee, or the struck by lightning probability a sexual predator will abuse gender inclusivity laws. Their fears are misrepresentative of reality, an affliction seen throughout history, which is actually fitting considering fear activates a more evolutionarily antiquated part of your brain. When we're afraid, we become more hostile to perceived threats, real or imagined. Science can now see that one's tendency to be afraid depends on what they pay attention to, and those who have a bias towards focusing on negative, distressing stimuli are more likely to be politically conservative. That biased reality shapes the conservative response to fear, what some call the strict father story. Our world is coming crumbling down. The coons are coming. <laughs> the story goes like this. In a dangerous and uncertain world, the archetype strict father dictates a moral hierarchy to keep society oppressed. I mean, safe, safe. Children are born naturally bad, and it's the responsibility of the father to punish, whip, and spank them into white adults. I mean, moral adults. Those who might be different, down on their luck, or just misunderstood, obviously haven't been disciplined properly, and therefore have yet to grow out of their naturally bad predisposition. To keep society safe, the moral must be rewarded with money and power, and the immoral must be further disciplined with societal marginalization and economic punishment. Not only does the strict father story arise because of fear, fear itself reinforces it. But here's the truth. The statistics overwhelmingly show that we're living in the safest time in history. Nevertheless, Republicans spend their every waking moment waging a war on your amygdala because fear is the glue that holds their entire ideology together. Being the pro-family, pro-life party while simultaneously making it as difficult as possible to live only makes sense when hypnotized by the strict father story. Only when your rationality skills are dulled from a fried limbic system. And Republicans have been weaponizing fear for decades. They've invested billions in think tanks, professorships at big universities, fellowships for conservative students, having their papers published in journals, and getting their disciplined, well-rehearsed message out in the media. And they have done all of this with the explicit goal of making you afraid. While there clearly are some scary things in the world today, fear as an emotion, as a bundle of thoughts endlessly ruminating in your head, only distorts the reality around you. Be mindful of the stories you tell yourself, stories like the strict father that might have helped us in our evolutionary past, but today are just divisive, judgmental, and un-American. And if we can just fear a bit less, then the party that doesn't represent American values, pushes harmful policies to the extreme, and punishes people for being different, well, their biggest fear is a well-informed, clear-headed electorate. So what is the Republican Party so afraid of? Us.